Hi, Bob Seller. In this video, we're going to be learning about the animated sprite 3D node. So let's create a new scene. Let's control A and add an animated sprite 3D node. Hit create to create and there it is. Click on it and in the inspector tab, you can see under the animated sprite 3D options, you can see sprite frames field. Click on it and it lets you create a new sprite frame resource if you, if you don't already have one. Keep in mind that for an animated sprite 3D, a sprite frame resource that was used in a animated sprite 2D can also be used. So don't hesitate if you have already set up some animations in 2D and want to like bring them to 3D. Okay, uh, since we have created our new sprite frame resource and after clicking on it, when it turns blue, you can see our new field appears. It's the sprite frames like window. Uh, keep in mind the animation window does not animate sprite frames for animated sprite 3D or 2D. The sprite frames resource is edited in the like the sprite frames field. Okay, since we are here, uh, I've done a detailed introduction to this field in my animated sprite 2D video, and but I'll still go over them. These are some typical options. So the, here are the animations that you create are represented. This is the default animation. You can click it to rename it. Let's rename it to idle. Let's go ahead and import some animations. Sprite frames are meant to be imported and not created inside the engine. So that's the whole reason there's a separate system for them. For importing, you can use two methods. The file button here lets you import, import files like uh, a whole image files individually if your animations are separately created with different files and names uh, since we have sprite sheets sprite sheets are a collection of different animation frames mashed together in a single image like this one this has a lot of animation frames i'm gonna add them by clicking this create button here for add frames from a sprite sheet go ahead and go to the idle and select the frame and now the select frames window appears. As uh, you can see, you can navigate it around like using the scroll wheel and the middle mouse button. Now let's select the sprite frame cutting, cutting options. So how would we like to cut it? So we, we need to enter the amount of rows and columns. Uh, let's see, there are six rows. So for vertical cutting, go to six. You can see it's okay and for horizontal there are eight rows let's see and let, let's see uh, there are some more options for like uh, uh, you can just enter the size of uh, individual frame and that will just repeat to every single one of them or you can uh, define separation like you can if you want to create these empty spaces but th that's just a topic for another like that's i have discussed that in the video in the animated sprite 2d video so let's just not go in detail let's select these frames i look these look good and our frames have been imported you can see that it looks blurry because it, it's in the 3d space uh, if uh, you have our animated sprite 2d like if you have used it uh, you know that there is an option for texture here and you change its texture rendering like filter there isn't a such option here nor does it affect like if you go ahead in the project settings and go to texture texture and, and the textures and default texture filter even if you change it it really doesn't matter i've changed to nearest it's still bl blurry and the option for changing that are here under flags uh, you can see these are all the options for like this truly sprite okay. that is being used here Go ahead and change the filter. You can see that if it's not changed, change it to nearest. Remember nearest. Uh, it looks a bit weird because my settings are compatibility and my PC isn't the best one, but it, it'll look okay on your computer. I'm sure about that. Okay, uh, now there are some more options like uh, you can play this. You can see it's a bit slow. You can change the FPS frame per second. It sometimes looks good. You can see it's pretty nice. Okay, uh, there are some more options here under flags. 
uh, like uh, double sided you can like click off and from one side it's invisible and from other side it's visible if the engine has the average recognized which size we are facing uh, there should be a feature for like uh, using this side as separate like uh, one on one side is this like animation using and other side is a separate one for example like we can use one for here for back and this is for front so it will be pretty cool i'll try to figure out uh, if i find anything i'll let you know uh, there are some things like fixed size and these are just to, to experiment around uh, the most useful one i think is this build board op option you might have seen it in like video games uh, it's just that the sprite will follow the camera you can see no matter where i wrote it in the 3d space it'll just always follow the camera uh, it looks a bit creepy when it also follows you like in the z's rotation so just y rotation looks cool this way will only face like the y rotation of the camera so you can see it from top but it'll face in face the camera in other directions so it's pretty cool i to be honest you can use it for like creating trees or anything like that so i'll just turn it off now and there are just other features like the pixel size this is just to like scale the thing i think it uh i made it uh, point one is pretty fine this is okay and then there's just horizontal and vertical shape options here as well just the same animated sprite to the options right here and other normal options of uh, 3d instance and real instance these are on every entity that's a 3d instance so yeah these are just typical options and that's kind of all about it uh, one cool thing is you can create like uh, you can switch to these viewports here i really like that and i've just discovered about them like us now i don't know what was i doing before but it's pretty cool to be honest you should give it a try uh, it makes me feel like using blender so yeah that's it for today's video and i'll see you in the next one